What's up everybody, Unfair here, taking a look at something new today, a game called Black Guards, which is a turn-based strategy RPG, uh, which was just released on Early Access on Steam, so this is a development build, this is a beta, Early Access of the game, so it is not complete, but I figured I would give it a try, uh, see what it's like, I have not started it or done anything at the moment, let's actually go through the options here. Let's kick that down a little bit so you guys are going to be able to hear me better. I'm going to leave all that stuff on. I do need to kick this up though. Uh, sure. Da -da 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 Let's just do that. That. And. Shabam! There we go. Alright. That's looking good. Yes. Alright, new game. Okay, uh, let's see here. This is, um,. You can have a different look for your guy, that's kind of cool. Ooh. What is up with that hair there, buddy? Nope. Nope. Maybe. Nope. Looks like we're going with this guy. Alright, he looks kind of Vikingish, right? Something like that. Uh, you could be a mage, you could be a ranger, or a hunter type. Hunter types. Excellent spear fighter. Well trained to use bows. Experience in the wild. Experience using deactivating traps. Solid knowledge of wound treatment. Mage. A little experience in close combat. No experience in ranged combat. But if it's a trained combat mage. I, I'm, I'm a little confused. Okay, so he's definitely not a battle mage of any kind. Alright, warrior, da la la, strength, train in fighting with one-handed and two-handed swords. Great body control, okay. That sounds kind of kinky. Uh, high resistance, da 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 da. Uh, let's go with, um, I guess we'll go with the hunter. And of course, I'll have to name him unfair. Uh, this just sounds like the most interesting way to do it. Da 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 da. We might follow our reason, our instinct, or our friends. Sooner or later, all of them deceive us. That's life there, buddy. Trust no one, they say. Good advice. Especially not yourself. Okay then. Okay, welcome. This tutorial will guide you the first steps through the game, explaining some of the important menus, gameplay mechanics. If you want to play without the tutorial, ah, tutorial text, you can deactivate them in the game menu. Switch the tutorial back on anytime. Well, I likely want to um, keep a tutorial going, because that just seems like it would be a smart thing to do. So, well, that seemed pretty easy. Just pop him in his head. Princess. Eleanor, what's going on? What's happening to me? There's somebody back there! Rest. Uh oh. I hear whispers. Right. Everything is not alright, creepy whispers person. Okay, well, apparently I just got uh, tossed into the prison. Nine. Tell us the name. Lysander? What? To hell with you, bastard! You slew Eleanor. No! No, that's not... What happened to me? He must tell us the name! What are you talking about? What name? Tell us what you know! This instant! I don't know, I know. What name? Too bad. You leave me no choice. My friend Muratori will make you talk. Tell us the name! <laughs> Apparently the I'm being tortured. Name. What name? I don't know any name. Chapter 1. Get away. 
Yeah, that would be a good thing. I've always known what I want out of life. To sleep the days away under the sun. I just wanted to live. No more, no less. But the death of the princess changed everything. They think I murdered her. And they might be right. Maybe it doesn't even matter. You come into this world as a nobody, and you leave it as a nobody. They'll put a rope around my neck, and my neck will break. But one question still haunts me by the Nameless One. What happened to me? I guess that's what we uh, intend to find out. I don't know why you're here, but I have a feeling you shouldn't stay. How did you manage to free yourself? You biggins don't know how to lock up an anger show. <laughs> it's a... Hey! It's a dwarf. Okay, the ring menu shows special moves, spells, abilities, all the active characters, tactical options. You can open and close the ring menu by right clicking. Oh, look at that. Okay. So that's end turn, perception, use, attack. Alright, so let's, for instance, say I want to send Mr. Dwarf over here forward. How do I do that? Or can I not, because I'm not on that turn yet. Okay. There we go. Cool! I don't think I could do anything at the moment. Just end turn. Go, Dwarfy! Uh, I think that's all I could do at the moment here. End, end his turn. Okay. Apart from the basic attacks, characters can also perform special moves. Nah, blah, blah, blah. Can do a power blow with slashing or blunt weapons like his torch. Special moves are more powerful than basic attacks, but they come with certain drawbacks. Power blow boost, uh, character's damage, but lowers their hit chance. Okay. Well, for starters, let's see what I can do here. I can wait. <laughs> Just smack him in the head with the torch. Alright, hang on. I have control of the dwarf, right? Oh, look at that, you can even change weapon sets and stuff. Alright, let's, uh, let's move the dwarf here. And power blow! And he missed! Ow! That's not very nice. How you like that, huh? Now let's try again. There we go. Ow. You just beat up my dwarf. You don't hit a dwarf. They hit back. Alright. Da, 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 da. Let's just go normal attack this time around. The war is on. This guy is pretty resilient, I take it. Smack. <laughs> Power blow, let's try it. And down he goes. Grateful that he doesn't have too much to carry on his way to the realm of the dead. Here are the keys. So, <laughs> what's this name, eh? The name that Four Eyes was asking you about. You mean Lysander? I call him Four Eyes. Maybe you should just tell him what you know. Uh, let's ask, what's, what's your, your name? name? I am Norim. Hello, just Norim. Norim, no son of... Just ignore it. I see. So why are you here? I was trying to protect your country from the dragon. Fight fire with fire. Or so I thought. What dragon? The dragon. The golden one. He whose deceitfulness is going to devour us all because we've become blind to the eternal fight. Uh huh. Let me tell you a secret. Friends, uh -oh. hello. <laughs> I love secrets, but I would be eternally grateful if you could free me as well. I suppose we should do that, huh? Hooray! Oh wow, I get loot! I got a shabby belt. Oh, I can only select 
No, no, I could take take all. Aha! Please nice. open the lock. I'm innocent. Dude. As innocent as a man my age. What is wrong with your hair? Why are you locked up then? If only I knew. I'm a mage from Alantha, no less. Obviously, reason enough to brand me a spy and throw me into the dungeon. The name's Zerberan. Zerberan. From the house of Florios. Al Anthans can't be trusted. The dragon sent him, I tell you. Uh, what brings an Al Anthan to the country of his enemies? The weather? The landscape? <laughs> the women? That guy doesn't strike me as the type who'd be interested in women, just based on the hair alone. Why are you wearing that ugly iron collar? Uh, you're right. It doesn't match the shirt, does it? See? <laughs> I'll open the lock. We could use some help. Wonderful. Now I only need to get rid of this collar. Okay, you gain new gear press I... Da, 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 da. Inventar symbol? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, open the inventory menu, blah blah blah. Character menu, via drag and drop you can put new armor weapons. Uh, from your group inventory, corresponding gear slots. Okay, well, for starters, can I do that now? I can! Okay. Now, while there's tons of tutorial things, I'm kind of just skipping it and winging it because most of this stuff doesn't really matter. So, for example, uh, I can see that I'm carrying 19 of 72 total either weight or items, I'm not entirely sure. But we know that there are limits on inventory. Uh, so let's see here, what do we got? Armors. Items. A healing potion. Okay. Tell me about the dwarf. Yeah, he's fine. And we also have the incredibly, um... This item cannot be unequipped. Fair enough! Uh... Oh, there we go. We can actually give him... Da, 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 da. Let's go back to my main guy and dress him because he matters. None of the other ones matter in my opinion. Although, shoes would be nice. Okay, so he still has no shirt, which something about this game, they, they just like their people with no shirts. And they happen to all be male, which is a little awkward. But, uh, okay, you could also have multiple weapon sets, which is kind of cool. Alright, well, let's move on. Uh... So we can go to the guard room or the door. Let's go to the guard room. You don't talk much, do you? Not really. My friends say I talk too much. Seems like those times are over. Uh oh. Let's see if we can find the key for this fashion disaster. Hold it right there. The we didn't layer. see that coming. The Always keep your eyes open for interactive objects you can use to your advantage. Many things in your environment are usable. Uh, usable or destructible. Left click an object you want to interact with. Huh. So for example... Curse Smash? Haha! <laughs> I like it. Alright, so um... Can he actually hit anything? No, not... Not as of yet. Uh, I like the music. He dodges! Sometimes it's smarter to let an enemy make their move first. If character waits, they'll be moved to the end. Okay. I don't really need to do that, though. Like, for example, I could bring the dwarf all the way over here. We've got this guy flanked at this point. I would just smack him a few times. Ow. Oh, you like it. That's right. We're all just gonna beat you with whatever we have. There we go. I like the way this works. Smack. I like the music. The music is really nice. Hooray! Hooray, I get a short bow, some arrows. Oh, that's gonna make things nice. Lots of loot. 
Now we're gonna look like guards. And the one to my iron collar? Excellent. Here I was thinking I'd never be able to cast a spell again. Aha, so that's what his iron collar did. Okay. Uh, okay, I only get ten of those. Uh, but let's go ahead and give the dwarf the shield, because that just kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Do, do, do. But now let's look at the armor that we have. If we could actually give him some shoes. Give him a chest piece. We could actually do the same with my guy, too. So now we actually have, you know, shirts. Shirts are important. Okay. Uh, this fella gets that and that. Do we have any kind of weapon we can give him? No, we can just give him a torch, I guess. Can he dual wield torches? Yes, he can! He can have two torches! I did not know that was possible. That's pretty awesome. Okay. So I have 100 AP on this guy. I don't know what that does. So each character seems to level independently. Character sheet. Okay. Here we go. We get to buy stuff. <clears throat> But as you can see, it actually costs uh, costs a fair bit of AP to do stuff. So you can make him resistant to magic or give him more health. Uh, weapon skills. Here you can get a summary of your character's melee and ranged weapon skills. Under the icon is a slider determining if you per, uh, prefer offensive or defensive stance uh, with chosen weapon. Wow. There's some serious complexity here. I like it. Where's the, um, the bows? Yeah, okay. I'm not entirely sure how I would spend my points at the moment. So you can get animal lore, treat wounds, survival. Look, I could even get spells, apparently. Not on this guy, but I could buy spells on the other guy. Special abilities, special moves. I don't think I can actually... Well, not yet. This is pretty cool. All right, so let's actually spend a, a few. Let's spend my AP getting. Um, yes, give myself a little more health because health is always a good thing. Same thing for the dwarf. Let's just give him some health. Yes, confirm. For this guy, I'm just gonna not do anything with him at the moment until I figure out more of how he plays. Let's go ahead and uh, run through the cells real quick. More guards. So much for escaping. Wait. I know how to stop them. At least for a while. So we can block the guards. To summon a magic barrier. <laughs> Two. T-W-O. Yeah, they need to definitely do some uh, proofreading on their things. Uh, apparently he has... Fireball. Holy cow. Um, I kind of lost that tutorial thing. I probably should have uh, done something with it. Because... Magic. Uh, weakens the individual enemy for a short duration. I don't have anything there. Aha! Arcane wall. Creates invisible... Okay, cells, we've now created a open wall. The cell doors. Okay, stand in front of the lever, left click to open the door. You can hit V to highlight things. Aha! Look at that! That's pretty cool. Alright, let's go. Hooray! We have more units! Haha! -ha, they're gonna get smashed before we do! Uh, can I like... Regular attack with two weapons? Do I have something? Burst of flame. Bam! Oh, that's kinda cool. I like it. Alright, let's go ahead and uh... Open more of the cells. I can see this game being enjoyable.
Okay, those guards are completely overwhelmed at this point. Uh-oh. They brought more! Uh, let's magic blast them again. Uh, maybe I'm not close enough? Oh, I see. That That's a big fireball. Okay, nothing happened. <laughs> That's a little not cool. That's Enough fine. Let's get out of here. Agreed. Somehow that counted as a victory, even though the guards are still very so, much alive. What's this name? The name Amber Glasses was asking you about. Amber Glasses. That was my friend Lysander. Amongst really. my people, friends drink together instead of torturing one another. Each to his own? Why did they lock you up? Uh, let's they say, the say truth. I killed someone. A princess. And? Did you? I don't know. And where does this name come in? I don't know. You don't know much, do you? Not really. Did you know the princess well? Her father, Count Urias, had taken me into his service. Lysander knew her better. Her and her bed? In a manner <laughs> of speaking. He likes to get right to the point, doesn't he? Count Urias? Never heard of him. He was a hero. A mage who rendered great services to the Horatian Empire. The Empress herself gave him the title of Count. But more than that, he's an explorer. He has a penchant for exotic peoples. Forest men. Lizard folk. Sounds more like a villain. That's yeah, probably a little bit of foreshadowing. Okay. Five weeks before. Ah, so we're... Take the blasted wooden sword already. Why are we dueling again? I don't know. Is it really important? I think you insulted Eleanor. That's not true. We were drunk. I know this. I challenged you to a duel. Or was it the other way around? <laughs> <laughs> don't be silly. Leave them be. I want to see them fight. <laughs> to the fifth hit! Alright. All right. To the fifth hit. At last. <sighs> use your environment. You can use the environment mud guards to your advantage. For example, you try to lure your enemies into puddles of mud and make them slip and fall. Environmental elements like this are everywhere in the game. They're able to help or harm you, so keep your eyes open. So I'm just going to go here. And then, um... I can't hit him. Oh, never mind. I got him. Did that not count as a hit for him? Okay. I'm ready to go now. I'm gonna hide back here. Come and get me! Question is, how can I actually lure him in? No, for now, let's just end my turn. <laughs> I'll just keep running from him. Like, no, don't hit me! He's standing in bed, stuff. So whose honor is restored now? Who knows? Come on, Elena, let's prepare the lamb. I have no idea what just happened there, but okay. Oh, how I missed all this. You actually look like a hero. <laughs> I'm impressed. Those years of training really paid off. A hero? That's the last thing I want to be. I was hoping you'd say that. We should do something naughty like we used to. You know, Ooh. Father Okadiki has no teeth left at all. We should take advantage of that. There's no hope for you, you know. Have you been to see Urias? He wants to talk to you. Yeah, let the Count wait. I'm enjoying the sun. I, I like how the game's, like, One thing at technical a time. stuff. Aurelia? Who's Aurelia? Now I'm curious. <laughs> no, enough talk. I'm going back to Nitha. 
I need to find out what happened. But you don't have to come with me. Why not? I've always wanted to see the bridge of St. Telion Mill. Well, that explains it. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Well, this looks like good a place as any to stop. We're up, up to the world map, which I have no idea what comes next. But maybe I'll do another video and uh, continue showing it. You guys let me know in the comments below if you think this is kind of cool or interesting or want to see more. Uh, but until next time, I thank you for watching. And uh, take care, everyone.